as teachers, should we tell our students in front of the classroom, are we supporting Palestine or Israel? As an individual, no one can or should force us to believe in something or to support whatever, whoever we decide to support. We are all free men and women, and we are all free to decide our options. But we must uphold the integrity of being educators and teachers professionally by understanding our priority. Being teachers, what matters the most is the learning, the process. Hence, we need to deploy specific pedagogies to serve this objective. As teachers or educators, learning sciences should already become our second nature to refer to. It is always the basis of our work. I don't think we should or need to begin the conversation by saying, I think it's Hamas who did it or not, Israel who did it or not. It has no learning values. But if we really want to engage our students in discussing about the current issues in Palestine, especially if we are teachers or educators responsible in teaching social studies and especially history, then we might begin the conversation by asking the students, are you aware of what happened in Gaza so and so recently? Invite the students to think. Some might say, oh, I think Hamas are the criminals. And then some others might say, oh, I think it is Israel who is doing so and so. So our responsibility as teachers is to guide our students, mediate the differences of opinion by helping them to investigate, to make some comparisons between resources, help them to think, especially in history, historical thinking, investigating resources is the foundation of everything Then students deserve to be guided. And also from the perspective of media literacy, students need our help to understand what is behind media, how to identify bias, specific interests, be it explicit or implicit, try to make some comparisons between different narratives and help them to reach the conclusion. We might be happy or unhappy with the conclusion that the students arrive, but be it negative or positive, as teachers, we must be able to understand how they actually arrive at so and so conclusion. If it's right, then they deserve to understand that they did the right thing. And if conclusion has something wrong about it, then we need to be able to highlight to the students what went wrong and how that can be improved. And of course, at the end, we need also to guide our students on how to coexist in peace when opinions are divided and became very binary. And probably that can be achieved by inviting students to also investigate, learn about virtues, values, characters behind these events, humanize the situation, try to understand from that point of view because Justice and injustice, bullying, oppression, wrongdoings are not something that happen only in foreign lands far, far, far away from our reality. It is universal. It happens in our schools, homes, in our society. Without the learning process, there is no education. It is an indoctrination. An indoctrination doesn't need teachers or educators. Anyone can do it. An indoctrination makes teachers and educators irrelevant.